the meaning of milka from seeing his family being massacred during the partition to begging for food at the delhi railway station as an orphaned refugee and to be arguably india's greatest ever individual sports person milka singh remains a story that will be told over and over again by his own admission milka has never been to a movie hall but he has done enough in his time to move others to perpetuate it on the indian screen what is it about this thin gaunt runner from our past that always manages to hold our attention even today here is the story his story of his race against death hunger and then the rise where he touched the skies born in kot addu in the district muzaffargarh near multan in pakistan little milka studied in a mosque till class 4 then with another village boy he joined the city school which was 10 kilometers away they had to cross two small nalas on the way to school apart from walking barefooted on the hot loose desert sands of multan 10 kilometers to the school and then another 10 back home their feet had become extremely firm by then and their stamina had increased a lot this prepared milka for the life which lay ahead of him he developed a toughness of attitude and strength in his legs and lungs which were to stand him in good stead later in life his was a family of farmers his father was extremely strict his parents were illiterate but they had this modern outlook that the children should be well educated his father made milka's brother study till matric class 10 His brother was the only one in the area who had passed class 10 and people from nearby villages would come to him so that he could read them their letters or telegrams and write letters for them. Kabaddi and wrestling were the two sports in his village. There was also this game of lifting heavy rocks. Other than these games, they were not even aware of other sports like hockey, football or gymnastics. Milka was around 17 in class 8. when partition took place millions of people were uprooted and displaced more than 5000 villagers were massacred in his surrounding villages alone one thing he can never forget even today at 77 is seeing his beloved mother father brother and sister his entire family being butchered in front of his very eyes till today the voice of his father's last pleas begging him to flee so that he could save himself rings in his ears bhag milka bhag he kept crying till he breathed his last partition not only divided the nation but tore into the heart of a people he somehow managed to scramble into a delhi bound train living in the blood stained shirt in which he had landed at the delhi railway station and surviving on the food distributed by the better off people of delhi This refugee was desperately in search of a job. He tried four times to get into the army, but it was difficult with just ten posts vacant and one thousand men waiting in line to get them. At last, he was drafted into the electrical wing of the army as a sepoy. The army in India is a great institution, creating respectable jobs for millions of Indians. How did his journey start? Listen to what he says. we had people from all states and when we were told about this 5 mile cross country race we were all eager to try it 500 people ran the race and when it ended i finished 6th thanks to the stamina i already had in running to school every day he was one of the 10 selected for special training he was congratulated and praised at his barracks and this inspired and motivated the young milka he thought to himself i have seen death hunger so this is nothing i can do it and i will in the next cross country race after a month of training he stood second so exhausted he would be some days at the end of his training sessions that he had to be carried out of his nearby army barracks in a semi conscious state draped on some mate's shoulders soon milka was on his way to athletic recognition and fame He ran and won many races in the 50s and 60s. Milka Singh has lived with the pain of partition 
throughout his running career. His beloved Pakistan was that empty, painful space in his heart. And it was towards the end of his running career that he found his cure. At the Indo Park Athletic Meet in New Delhi in the 1950s, he was selected to run the third lap of the 4 into 400 meters relay. In the race, the young Sikh soldier caught up with his Pakistani rival on the tracks. He looked over his shoulder and gave him a challenging nod, a psychological release of hostility in his breast, before beating him to the finishing line. Among those who noticed this look at the national stadium was the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. The Pakistanis had invited him to run against their best athletes and Milkha Singh was reluctant to go, unsure of his feelings. It was Jawaharlal Nehru himself who persuaded him to go, telling him, Son, we don't want more Milkhas to happen on either side. You are a soldier and your job is to fight the battle within. So, do it. He did it and defeated his Pakistani rival. It was Ayub Khan, the then president of Pakistan, who gave him the title, The Flying Sikh. Apart from many other races, Milka Singh won three Asian Games gold medals, the first being at the Tokyo Asian Games in 1958. He won 77 out of the 80 races he ran. He is the only male athlete to win a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. They came from far and wide to see him train for the Olympic medal in the 1960 Rome Olympics. He trained like never before, pushing himself till he bled through exhaustion. Remember, in those days, one just wore shoes and ran in the hot sun. One trained the body, but running was never the scientific experiment it is today. There was no Nike, no air-conditioned retiring rooms in the stadium, no comforts of our modern age. One just ran. This point must be understood before you read about his defeat at the Rome Olympics, the most important race of his career. Milka was expected to win at least the bronze, but he ran a strategically bad race. He opened out too fast and then realized he had to slow down. He, however, slackened his pace at the wrong moment to see three others race past him. It was bad timing, and then he could never catch up. When U.S. 1960 Olympic gold winner Otis David set a world record of 44.9 seconds, Milka came a close fourth with 45.6. There was a tragedy of defeat and regret here. For Milka, the real defeat was that he could not plant the Indian flag at the Olympics. He had the tears of a patriot. It was a shattering moment for him. No athlete had worked harder for the medal that eluded Milka at Rome. This is the second thing he has not forgotten till now. It was a race he was to run and rerun in his mind a hundred times, unable to forget or forgive himself for that burst of rashness. If only he had run the race this way. If only he had. This reveals the simplicity and greatness of the man. Greatness is a power to look humbly at oneself and face it bravely. However, he raced into the hearts of the Indian people who understood the moment. He was a new kind of hero. As an athlete, as the earthy son of the soil, Milka Singh is a legend today. He is a part of Indian folklore. Milka Singh lives in Chandigarh. His son is Jeev Singh, the world-famous golfer, making them the most successful father-son pair in Indian sport.